Emily has left me just for Christmas though. Um, so she really wanted to go home for Christmas and see her family. And I'm not a big lover of Christmas. So I decided to do a little tour instead. So I'm currently in Chiang Mai, which is North Thailand. I've just flew from Bangkok. And I'll tell you all about where I'm heading and what I'm going to do over the Christmas and New Year period. But before that, I urgently need to do some laundry. And that's really boring to watch, so let's go see what Chiang Mai has to offer. I think it's around 8 o'clock. Uh, it took me ages to get into my hostel because um, the front desk lady was having dinner with her family, which is lovely, but I was cold, so I wanted to get in. I'm just going to go for a stroll, a little evening stroll. So I'm in Chiang Mai at the moment because I wanted to see uh, Northern Thailand. Uh, I'm hoping to do a day tour to Chiang Rai and go see the White Temple and the Blue Temple. So I'm going to be doing that. I've got three nights in Chiang Mai. I'm in a hostel. I'm slumming it again. Well, it's a pretty fancy hostel. Like it's got, you know, like curtains and it's got like your own private little area. And locker space, etc. Yeah, so then after Chiang Mai, I'll be flying to Hanoi and then I will be going getting an overnight bus. It's a 16 hour bus, a uh, semi sleeper, which I think means that you don't get any sleep. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing an overnight bus from Hanoi to Hue and then I am going to do the Hai Van Pass, which is was kind of made well famous outside of Vietnam by Top Gear. Um, it's meant to be insane views and you just kind of ride these winding mountain roads on a little moped. So yeah, I can't wait for that. I'm really excited for that. And then after, uh, so the Hai Van Pass would then take me to Hoi An, have a few days in Hoi An, and then I fly to Ho Chi Minh. And then for actual Christmas, I am going to Goa. So I'm going to go meet my sister in Goa for a few days, actually have Christmas with her and her partner. Um, and then after that, I'm going to go to a place that I've always wanted to go called Varanasi, which is kind of like center west of India. And it's just looks insane. I remember um, BBC documentary maybe like last year about it um, and just kind of learning about the the culture uh, of Hinduism and you know this is meant to be the final resting place um, for people when they die and it's just something that really interests me so I actually yeah I can't wait it's gonna be a crazy two and a half weeks three weeks and then I will be meeting Emily back in Perth God, I look so tired but I'm going to be even tighter, but I'm going to see so much. I'm so excited. So yeah, peace out. Laundry's done. When you travel in, there is no sweeter smell than fresh laundry. Makes me feel like I'm home.
Although my mum's laundry is unrivaled, it is the best. Although she probably puts about half a litre of fabric softener in, so it deserves to be the best. And now I'm off to bed. Good night. Well, last night when I got back after doing my laundry, I booked a tour. Uh, it's like a full day tour to Chiang Rai. So that's going to be happening tomorrow, which means that this morning and for the rest of the day today is my only full day in Chiang Mai. So I have rented a bicycle to try and see as much as possible on two wheels. And this is my bike. So let's go. So I haven't really been looking at uh, what to do around Chiang Mai. I just kind of rented the bike from my hostel and just thought I'd just cycle around the, the ancient town, just cycling around the streets really. And I've just stumbled upon loads of different areas. So I went to uh, Taipei, 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 Taipei. So I went to Taipei Gate uh, in the morning and then I've just been cycling around some of the nice little streets. And now I've stumbled upon a, a temple called uh, Wok Chan Man um, and yeah this is in its backyard it's amazing it's got like carvings of elephants on it it's solid gold I haven't seen temples in a while so this is lovely it's really relaxed here there's not many tourists uh, and it's really tranquil I'm probably ruining it by talking Next up is Wat Chedi Luang, which is in the heart of the old city. Um, it's incredible. It looks a bit like pyramids, like it's raised up. Um, kind of looks like it's in a derelict condition. I think I read that in the 15th century it was uh, ruined. The stonework on it is just so intricate. It's amazing to look at. Um, it's under construction at the moment, so I don't think I'm allowed to go in. Uh, you can kind of see here some elephant. There's been some damage to some elephants that surround the kind of side building. So it was damaged in the 15th century by an earthquake, which reduced it to its half of its height. Uh, it's still really impressive as well. So uh, it must have been absolutely huge pre-earthquake. And the last part of the 24 hours in Chiang Mai uh, ends with its famous night markets. And this is quite important for me because I need to get some Christmas presents. So I'm looking for some inspiration. Or tat. A 
I've got some ideas at least. Um, I haven't bought anything, but my tour tomorrow drops me off here in the night market, so I'll pick up what I need tomorrow. I'm just gonna finish off the evening with some pineapple fried rice, because uh, I've got a really early start tomorrow and I have to be up for like six o'clock. Yeah. Ah, yeah. It's like a lettucey, cabbagey broth. It's really nice though, it's, it's quite plain, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> 